Hey guys, I've missed you all. I took time off from posting to spend it with my dog Samantha, who ended up passing away last Thursday. I didn't know why she was suddenly ill, but I knew I didn't have much time left, so we did all her favorite things. I don't want to make this a sad video. We had an amazing 11 year friendship, and I made a promise to her to continue my weight loss and push even harder. This video is a combination of saying bye to Sam, a day in my life, showing you my food and what my training is now, as well as my five tips to getting back on track after a hardship or if you've just fallen off the wagon for a while. Tip number one is decide. Decide that either today, tomorrow, or Monday you are getting back on track. You are tired of feeling sluggish and bloated and you deserve to feel your best. Accept responsibility for your part in falling off and forgive yourself. Remember your goals and what motivates you. Maybe you too made a promise to someone. You can get out of any slump by deciding to focus on your health first. Physical health improves your mental health, which improves your decision-making skills to overcome the things that are holding you back. Number two is make a checklist. Sometimes life has a funny way of throwing you curveballs all at once. That chaotic feeling can make you quit what's best for you. A to-do list for the day can simplify things, giving you back your sense of control and allowing you to focus back on your health. I encourage you to put easy things on your list too, like an email or a phone call you've been meaning to make. As you check mark boxes, you will feel a sense of relief and empowerment as you're reminded that you have the ability to drive your life where you want it to go. Number three, clean up your surroundings. No matter how many times you've started a weight loss journey, each time is special and deserves a fresh start. Tidy up your home and the people around you, keeping only what brings you joy. A positive environment creates positive change. Number four, exercise. Do anything. Even if it's just a walk, that fresh air and endorphins is gonna have you feeling anew. I no longer go to CrossFit classes in order to save money, but I do have a gym membership and I have added swimming to my training. With more weight loss comes more loose skin, but I'm not letting it ruin my confidence. This swim cap, by the way, I found it on Amazon. It's amazing, it's so easy to put on dry, and it's made for big hair buns like mine. I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. I still do strength training and running as well. I'll be more specific about my training schedule in a future video. I got my mile and a half run into the 14 minute zone, 1432. And yeah, we're just moving up the charts here to get into the excellent range. That's my goal. And yeah, it's just super exciting. So good run today. For lunch, I'm making myself a salad. I've cut up some tomatoes, jalapenos, onion, and cucumber. I've also added some oil and vinegar left over from a restaurant. This everything bagel seasoning is a great addition to any salad, gives it a lot of flavor salt and pepper, and of course, plenty of chia seeds. I like to put a lot on because they don't taste like anything and it's a great source of fat and fiber. I'm gonna add two pieces of Italian sausage on top. And if you are not counting calories and not working out that much, I'd probably just go with one link. Claire has been doing pretty well with Sam's passing. I was able to take her to the vet to say bye, and I've continued to take her on her walks, so things have been pretty good. These are my new running shoes, and I love them so far. I will link them down below if you want to check them out. For dinner, I had some asparagus and some soup. So this is a soup I made from some vegetable broth using the same Italian sausages just ground up with some cauliflower rice. And last but not least, number five, meal prep. Thinking ahead for the week on what you'll be eating and preparing some meals will make starting and staying on track easier. I recently made this new meal prep and it was so easy and delicious. I'm going to share it with you all in my next video. That's it for today. I hope you found these tips useful. Thanks for watching and for all your prayers lately. It means so much. It's good to be back guys. I'll see you soon.